I've had a problem with the uh, front brake rotors warping on this truck ever since I've owned it. Um, I'll put new rotors on there and they'll last a few years and, until they warp again. And uh, it might have something to do with the fact that I've always got this truck camper on there and, and I do some towing. I tow my car around too. So uh, I've finally decided to get some good rotors on there. Some uh, dimpled and slotted rotors. And uh, they're guaranteed not to warp, so maybe this will uh, fix that problem for good. So I'm going to go through the process here. This is a 93D250 Dodge uh, with the Cummins 5.9 diesel engine in it. And uh, there's videos out there I found uh, that, that show how to do this on the four-wheel drive, but the D250 is a two-wheel drive model. And uh, it's, it's actually easier, but... Um, I just thought I'd show it since uh, nobody else seems to have a video on that out there. So we're going to start off here by um, loosening up the front uh, lug nuts and then we're going to jack it up and uh, go from there. Now I'm going to pull this hardware off of here that keeps the uh, the caliper on. Let's loosen this. That's a 13 millimeter one on the top, and one down here. Now sometimes these calibers seem like they're kind of stuck on here, but it's because the uh, shoe or the uh, pads are squeezing against the rotor. So you just stick something under here like a screwdriver and just kind of pry it up, and uh, and you can get it out that way. All right, there it goes. Set it down on top of that bucket. So the pad pads got plenty of lining on them still, but I'm going to replace them anyway because putting new rotors on, I should probably put new pads with them. And uh, they came with the rotors anyway, the new pads. So I'll just go ahead and replace those. All right, now I'm going to get this hub and rotor assembly off of here. Let's pry this dust cap off. And we'll straighten out this cotter key here. Pull this off of here. And then just pull it off. Like that. All right, now we need to separate the hub from the rotor. And uh, in order to do that, you need to pound these studs out uh, or get them out somehow. If you're going to pound them out, put a lug nut on there and make sure it's the nut itself is above the level of the stud so that when you pound on it, it doesn't mushroom the end of the stud. And then, you know, if it does that, you're going to have trouble getting the nut back on. And that's all it takes. Uh, I've got a press. Uh, it's a little less violent doing it that way. <laughs> but this is quicker. So, And once he gets the studs out, the uh, hub will lift right off. Just like that. So now you want to flip the hub over. And uh, if you haven't... Pack your inner bearing, inner wheel bearing, 
you might you will probably want to do that and just pull this seal out and then the bearing will come out and you can repack it and put it back in and put a new seal in there uh, I just did this a um, couple of years ago when I, I replaced the calipers so I'm not going to bother this time they should be good but uh, so then you just want to drop the rotor on there and I'm going to use some plastic here because I don't want to touch the surface with my greasy gloves. So you just want to try to line those holes up. And just drop it right on there. And the thing about these, these are uh, zinc coated rotors and um, I don't want to get them greasy because they say you're not supposed to use solvent on them which is pretty much what it would take to get the grease off so because uh, the solvent can can damage the zinc coating so that's why I did that now if you want to save yourself a little grief uh, coat the bottom part of these studs with uh, some penetrating oil and uh, wipe it off. Wipe, off, wipe off the excess before you try to put them back in there it's just so you know that doesn't go flinging all over the place once your truck is back on the road but this is going to make it go in a lot easier because uh, these things it's pretty tough sometimes to get them to seat completely and I ran into a problem one time with that I thought I had it already seated all the way and uh, took the truck for a test drive and everything was fine no problem at all and uh, then I went on a trip 2,000 miles and I got about 750 miles into it and there was this big backup on the freeway and I had to swerve hard to avoid rear-ending somebody and uh, when I did, my front right wheel was started wobbling all over the place and it because it was because some of these weren't seated completely and it pulled the hub and the rotor apart just enough to make it wobble. Now I just need to drop the studs back in. Now when you pound these in, I'm just going to use this extension here uh, to pound them. And uh, they're probably not going to go all the way in. It's a really tight fit. So I'm just going to pound them down as much as I can. And then, uh, then later on I'll put the lug nuts on there and try to cinch them down to pull them in the rest of the way. Now, one thing I should mention, if you use one of these, you're probably going to mushroom the top of it, and I don't really care because this is this one I never use, and it's kind of uh, busted up anyway. The bottom part is twisted, so I don't really care about using it as an extension anymore. Okay, you get it tight and then back it off about a quarter of a turn. That's a little loose. That looks good right there. Now 
And now I'm going to crank down on these lug nuts to pull these studs all the way out again. These kind of protrude through a little bit. So just to make sure they come all the way out, I'm going to put some washers on there. And have the part that normally would go in come out so that uh, it doesn't get hung up there. And I'm going to take this long screwdriver here, poke it through the middle and then that way when I crank it, it's going to hit this and it won't allow it to go any further, so. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean up these slides here that the calipers slide on. I'm going to put some plastic over these rotors so whatever I get off of there is not going to fall down onto the rotors. And I'm just going to take some uh, steel wool and just use it right in here to smooth that out, get that rust off of there. And I'm going to use it on the uh, calipers themselves. Right in here, those are going to slide on there, so do the same thing. You can do that on both sides, on the other side here too. Okay, now I need to force this piston back in here. And, uh, I'm going to use an old brake, sh brake pad and a C-clamp to do that. But before I do that, before I get it all cranked down, I'm going to check the fluid level, brake fluid level in the reservoir to make sure it's, if it's too full, this will force it all back out and it'll overflow. Well, it's down a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I think I'll push it, I'll just push it a little bit and then I'll come back and recheck it and see what it looks like. Okay, we'll give this a go here. All right, I think that's as far as it's gonna go. Everything I hit with a steel wool, I'm now going to grease up with this uh, brake lube. Make sure everything slides nice and easy. Any place where there's metal against metal and it's moving. I'm going to put some lube on there. Not too much, just a thin coat. Put these on here now. Get that one on there. Alright, just like that. Okay, put a little lube up here. I forgot to put some lube on this part. Just a little thin layer. Because these will slide back and forth and the retaining clips will be up against them. On the top and the bottom. And we'll put the new retaining clips on there. Oh, 
one on the bottom, one on the top. Knock his dust cap in the rest of the way. And uh, get that wheel on there. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.